Uh, let's talk a little bit about AMD uh, and some of the announcements here. I mean, they made a ton of announcements. What? Is this your topic? You. Huh? No, no, it's all you, buddy. Don't, don't let my don't let these gorgeous pearly whites distract you. Just keep okay. going. Just smiling at my bestie. Sorry, I just thought you were looking at me and laughing. Uh, that's okay. So um, AMD made a lot of announcements, but I think the 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 two that we thought were the most impactful was they signed a go big. They announced a go big deal with Dell uh, on their commercial lines that cut across um, desktops and and notebooks. And you know it's interesting. We've seen a lot. Over the years, I've seen many announcements. I've been involved in in deals uh, with Dell, and really up to this point, Dell has not been able to um, has not been able to effectively drive volume of of AMD um, of AMD equipment and a, a, AMD AMD desktops and notebooks. And it's not just a Dell. It's not just a Dell issue. Uh, AMD did not invest enough in the channel. Uh, I still don't think they're investing enough in in content uh, and programs. Um, AMD really is about uh, best product wins. But when it comes to enterprise desktops, that's not just the case. That's not the case. You're not going to get somebody to pivot and go with you be because your platform is $50 or $100 less because it's really a, a TCO, and quite frankly, people don't want to change if they've been satisfied with 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 what they're with what they're using. So, moving forward, I am hopeful that um, and, and I've seen I've talked to both companies, all the executives uh, here. I've looked at how the two companies are positioning it. Uh, I'm looking forward to get a even deeper dive in the go to market with both AMD. Uh, and Dell uh, and made their stock AMD stock rock, which uh, good for them. But they've got to turn this into a into a uh, into a reality here. Uh, final thing I want to talk about is AMD brought out with what I think is a super differentiated product called Ryzen AI Max, lovingly referred to as Strix Halo. It's the top of the line um, AI processor with with 50 tops, but it's not necessarily the the tops. It's it has a big GPU, maybe up there with the RTX 4060, uh, a unique memory uh, shared memory uh, system, um, and uh, it comes at a reasonable uh, TDP between I would say 45 watts is reasonable. Uh, but it goes all the way up to 120. Uh, this is a multitasking monster. And as you would expect, uh, AMD outlined a lot of use cases related to uh, content uh, creation, um, which you know Apple has tended to dominate as of late. And I like that AMD went right after the, uh, the M4 uh, on this. So... Very probably the most differentiated product that that AMD brought out the um, the entire time. I believe that they're partnering at least publicly now with HP and uh, and ASUS. I, I want one of these, by the way, in a in a desktop format. I want you to have one. I'm going to buy you. you one. Merry Merry holidays. Thanks, dude. All right. Yeah. Look, I I I. I We'll just add to this that I think it was a really big signal of intent that uh, both AMD and Dell are finding a way to expand and grow that partnership. I think for AMD, it's an important um, growth area, especially in client. Um, I like the work that Dell is doing to simplify its nomenclature or its design. Pat, you and I are both, you know, I'm becoming a, a product marketing guy as I spend more time around you. Um, and what I would say is I felt for a long time that Dell's notebook lineups were really hard to sort of discern and to, to understand. And unless you were paying attention all the time, I think the Dell AMD, um, this was probably the biggest go forward. I think the two have had so far in this space. And so I think it was a really strong moment for the company. Um, in terms of 
what's going on. I would also add that I think Dell, I mean, they they did a bigger splash with Qualcomm when the first wave, they did that at Dell Tech World. I, we're going to talk about Intel in a second, but let's be really candid about it. I mean, look, there's some hope for Intel on the product side. I mean, I've got some positive things and I'll say it about it. But I also think like if you're Dell or you're any of these companies, I mean, this is the hedge. I mean, you have to be hedging right now. There's so much uncertainty. I think um, a lot of good work is being done to shore up some of the risk by Intel. But gosh, in AMD, Dell needs a stronger partnership. Dell and Qualcomm needs a partnership because until we really know for sure that Intel is out of the woods, uh, these companies would be crazy to, to not be diversifying a little bit. And I think this was a signal of that intent. But at the same time, everyone out there knows Dell and Intel are like that. And there's a huge and very tight, very long and very deep partnership. So we're going to have to sit back a little bit, Pat, and wait and see if the numbers do the talking. 